2015 was an amazing year. We started out the year celebrating Matthew's first birthday. January and February rolled around and it was cold. We still managed to play outside, sledding, building snowmen, but then it got colder. I mean really cold. We tried to go outside a couple of times. It just didn't seem to work out. So we stayed inside, had some dance parties, rolled around downstairs on the mattress, and pretty much just waited for spring to roll around. Easter came, colored some eggs with my parents, and still just waited for spring to get here. Shortly after Easter, we embarked on one of the first trip of several we took this year. We got in the car with my parents and drove 1,400 miles to Indian Rocks Beach, Florida. We had a house where we had our own private pool, our own private section of beach. We laid around all week and did absolutely nothing, and at the same time, we did everything. The kids had a blast, but to be honest, we all did. We spent time in the water every single day, whether it was in our own pool or the ocean. We buried each other in the sand, and we ate so much food. After we got back from Florida, both Julie and I had the privilege of being in the wedding of my new brother-in-law and sister-in-law, Alex and Carrie. The wedding was outside and was absolutely amazing. We love you guys. A few days later, we got in the car and drove 1,100 miles to Luray, Virginia for Julie's 30th birthday. We'd been planning this trip for some time and decided to hike some of the Appalachian Trail and play in Shenandoah National Park. We had a great time and I would highly recommend the experience if you ever want to get in touch with your outdoorsy side. We came home, got back in the car with Julie's family, and went a thousand miles across the country in the opposite direction to Moab, Utah. We were there for a family reunion, but spent a few days in Arches National Park doing the sightseeing thing. Ansley climbed on every single rock in the entire park and led us around with her orienteering skills. We learned that Moab, Utah is hot in the summer, so make sure you wear a lot of sunscreen or hike only when the sun goes down. From there we headed north 200 miles to Heber City, Utah to the Timber Moose Lodge, the world's largest privately owned log cabin. This thing is massive and was able to fit in Julie's entire family. We spent an entire week cooking, playing, and just living life with 53 of Julie's family members. We spent a lot of time in the pool and probably more time than anything cooking and eating. The trip was great and it was such a good time to see all of our family members that we rarely get a chance to see. We packed our bags and headed back across the country, the six of us, said goodbye to all these crazies, only to find out we had some new crazies living next door. This summer I ran, and ran, and ran, a lot. I was training for a big race, and I ran. That hurt. All that training culminated with me and my buddies driving back out west, halfway across the country, 770 miles to Leadville, Colorado, home of the Leadville Trail 100, a 100 mile trail race through the mountains of Colorado. I know, it's pretty crazy, but it's also pretty crazily amazing. We got back home and it was on to another wedding. My cousin Becca got married in a beautiful outdoor wedding. The DJ was amazing. We then celebrated a four-year-old's birthday with an aerial mermaid party. The real Ariel even showed up and Ansley still talks about her birthday almost every single day. In November, we witnessed history, seeing the Hawkeye wrestling team wrestle outside in Kinnick Stadium. It was so cool. In December, we had the privilege of traveling to Zambia, Africa, alongside Mickey Kinzenbaugh and Agra Hope Ministries. We worked alongside the locals and planted some cornfields. We were also able to help out by putting some tin roofs on two separate chicken coops. It was great to work alongside the locals and live the African life with them for two weeks. We were also able to do a small amount of malaria testing while we were there in the country. As we were winding down our time in Zambia, we got on another plane and traveled 500 kilometers south to Livingston. We did the tourist thing for a couple of days there, going on a safari, seeing loads of really cool animals, and took a lot of really neat pictures. We even got to see some endangered white rhinos, courtesy of bribing the armed guards. Another must-see in Livingston is Victoria Falls, one of the natural wonders of the world. No pictures or video can do these falls justice as to how insanely beautiful they are. Then it was goodbye Africa, hello 12-hour layover in London. 
We walked about five miles that day and saw everything there was to see. It's such a beautiful city. Then back home for Christmas with these two little ones, which was so exciting. Just before we tried to squeeze in one more trip for the year. Back in the RV with my parents to travel 1,700 miles west to Pasadena, California for the Parade of Roses and the Rose Bowl game. The actual game wasn't anything to get too excited about, but we had a blast with family and I have no idea how we're going to top 2015.